Yeah. But there's a line that you said, like, I don't think you know how people receive you. Oh, wow. Really? Uh huh. Oh, that's nice. Um, to know and consistent. And that was the, the, the truth, which is even though I disagree with how you're receiving me, you are receiving me that way. Yeah. It's almost not. It's not for you to say, really. You own 50 percent of you because other people are have the other 50 percent. It sucks. But that's why being liked in my head, at least the way I'm defining it, is so important because I obviously was missing this thing because I always thought if I like me, you like me. I'm phenomenal. So everyone thinks that about me. Yeah. And then I found out that isn't the case, which put me into a big depression for a while yeah. because we're like, what, what, what are you talking about? Right. Um, but I wanted to plug that video. It is interesting though. It is interesting. Uh, you know, yeah. And I'd also do, I think that people just don't have the capacity. A lot of people don't have the capacity of, or the time or the want to be like, to getting to know people. So they're like, Okay, that guy annoys me. I'm done. But like uh -huh. when I met you, I liked you instantly. And then I realized how much you could be like a lot. Uh -huh. And then I was like, oh, man, that's a lot. And uh -huh. and but I, I get still, that with um, so many of my really? relationships. But I still liked you. I never didn't like you ever. There has never been a day where I'm like, fuck Rick, you know, mm -hmm. always liked you. Funny. And I've <laughs> and I've always but I've always been like, yeah, he's a lot. But um it feels like you like since we're friends i am open i am i want to look past that and and know you you know what i mean i don't just want to know what you put out there right which is how somebody might receive you so um it's more important than that but i feel like a lot of people you meet they're just not going to give not you but anybody that much time and respect but that's why it's cool to be a real friend with someone. My show, as we see it, mm -hmm. um, and I've said I said this on uh, a, a press thing that we did. Uh, some of these characters, when you meet them at, at the beginning, uh, in the first episode, you may be turned off by them, mm -hmm. and like I don't, yeah. Um, but you watch a show, so you keep watching it, and then you realize why, and you start to care yeah. about these people. Sure. And the the luxury of a television show that's meant to entertain versus yeah. real life, a lot of times when you meet somebody in episode one, you're not going to meet them again, and you're not going to get to know them. Why? What do you mean? Because like you said, if you meet somebody that oh, turns you off- in, in real life. In real Got life. It. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, and that's both a bummer, but also the reality. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that you- at least were, if not are, that way where people meet you and you're either funny Chris and then they really want to be more or you're cold Chris and they're like, fuck that guy. I was a lot like that, yes. I was a lot like that. Were you aware of that? Uh, I was, yes. I was, but also half aware. It was like I was sleepwalking in a way. It was like I was, I'm going to be funny and if I want to be funny then that's good. If I don't, then that's okay. I don't owe these motherfuckers anything. And that goes back to me resenting people because liking me because I am a comedian. Did you put that on the tray? Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. But it's brown though, you said. You're right. Okay, so can I'm, you go uh, back and say maybe not everything that's brown? I made a mistake. Okay. And I'm now correcting it. Okay. See, like this, why are you being like that? Um, Because I, because I don't want that to be something that I did wrong. Mm, even even your Arabian <laughs> nights but what uh even your jokes i did it out here you don't have to do it that. did it peaked no it did Sh peak but that's not my fault is it because i did like this so you should have the popper and i'm not wrong again i'm not wrong and i'm not wrong how much do you think of your inspiration for comedy is about you being right and oh you being it's a top? lot it's a lot because you have to convince people why you're right about something that isn't necessarily right uh -huh. that's what comedy i mean chris rock is the best at that chris rock is like or bill burr you know He's like, yeah, fucking OJ should have done it. You know, and you're like, what? And then he's like, I'll tell you why. And then by the fucking 10th line, you're like, I, I guess I got to see what he's saying. You know what I mean? One of the, uh, Brent, one mm -hmm. of the funniest uh, character choices mm -hmm. that he makes to yeah. me are how quickly uh -huh. he'll he'll admit. Brent Morin. Uh, how quickly he'll admit um, for the joke, uh -huh. not in spite of. Yeah. He was wrong and or he made a mistake and or he something that's self-deprecating the way he looks or something yes two opposite ends of the spectrum yeah. they're both very they're very great. funny yeah they're great yours is uh -huh. i'm always right yeah i think most well no not most because a lot of comedians go up with self self self-deprecating shit um but yeah I, I i think both are equally funny i love it when a guy 
is on stage telling people like they know better. I think it's hilarious. Like the guys who do that are Chris Rock, Bill Burr. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Those guys who do that are fucking hilarious to me. Confidence is funny. John DeWalt put his Instagram over here. John we DeWalt's have hilarious. these conversations all the yeah. time. Confidence, no matter what the subject matter is, when people are confident, mm -hmm. there's something funny about it. Well, there, because you want that. Yes. You know, and, uh -huh. and so if somebody comes, I mean, dude, this guy, came, this guy came in this coffee shop I was in once and he was like, oh, dude, I love your stuff. We got to hang out sometime. And I'm just like, why the fuck <laughs> would I hang out with you, some guy? And it was so funny. And I ended up running into him again and I started hanging out with him. And, and, but, but the, the, when he left the fucking coffee shop, he had four like drinks on his tray and he goes like, but yeah, we'll hang out sometime. And he goes strictly hetero and kicks the fucking door <laughs> and leaves. And it, it, I will, I, I was like, oh, I'll never forget that. Like he was just like, don't worry, I don't want to fuck you. And like, it was so funny. And I ran into him again and I saw him a few times and we like hung out and no, we never fucked. But it was, it, I mean, that, that confidence of, oh, I want to hang out with this guy. He should hang out with me. Uh -huh. is like so attractive. The, uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I am phenomenal. Right. I mean, that to me. Exactly. Yeah. But how much of that is, uh, is self-fulfilling too, you well, know? Uh, in what way? When I'm on stage uh -huh. and I'm feeling funny, I will, no matter what set I want to be doing, I will be confident, Rick. And it is not fake, but it is also a character. When I feel funny, I am confident guy. Right. Um, I don't know. I just love well, confidence. It's, yeah, because, because you can't I mean, fake it. It's not really a, I mean, it's kind of a, it's you, but it's you, it's a, it's a heightened version of you, uh -huh. which is, which is okay. That's, it's still real comedy. You know what I mean? Do you know like, Lamorne Morris? Yeah. Yeah. I love him. I don't know. I don't actually don't <clears> know if we've ever met, but like we follow each other online. I like him a lot. His wheelhouse is confident. He also is successful. So it's easy to right, pretend, right, right, right. but confident that guy who is just an absolute fool and That's doesn't funny. realize it. That's funny. Yeah. So shout out to Lamorne. No, I love him. Is that it? Uh, I mean... Oh, yeah.